Tobin. Josh, congratulations on your new audio series, The Miranda Obsession. Thank you very much. Available right now exclusively on Audible. That's right. And now it's based on a true story. Tell us what it it's is. about and who do you play? Yeah, so this was a really interesting experience. My first time in a recording booth not singing. This was a, uh, a, a, um, a story that we told Rachel Brosnahan, who plays Miranda. Um, Miranda, uh, who we're talking about in this, in this podcast, she was kind of one of the original catfishers. She's somebody who got to know very famous men and she kind of wooed them, seduced them, talked to them, and, uh, and got them to fall in love with her, never meeting them, mostly never meeting them. And this podcast is really a fascinating look into what those conversations, based on interviews and things like that, might have sounded like. And it's, um, it's, it's I play Billy Joel. I play Billy Joel, wow. and, and, which was a huge, a huge thrill for me. I, I didn't sing anything, but I had to, you know, I had to, I had to do the voice and all that. And, and it was really nice that he... Um, he actually um, emailed to say, like, hey, if you ever want to hear the full story, if you ever want to talk and everything, like, he was really into oh, it. Oh, wow. And most of the guys, mm. interestingly, don't feel any <laughs> animosity towards this woman. She never stole any money. Um, it was, it wound up being just kind of sad. She wanted to live a double life. She wanted to, to um, feel like she was able to live this fantasy. And then it just kind of went up in smoke. And we don't know where she is now. Even if I didn't want the information from Billy Joel... Yeah. I'd have the two-hour chat. You know, why not? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Why not? Just to go, oh, no, I chatted with Billy Joel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I do. It's, uh, it's a really, really amazing story. Like, cra crazy that it even happened, and crazy that a, new a movie or something hasn't been made about it already, but this podcast is really exciting. Well, I mean, cool. this is what I love about you. You never really know where, where uh, Josh Groban's going to pop up or where a Josh <laughs> Groban fan will show up. You never um, know. You never we know. We found this video. Take a, a look fan? at this TikTok. Waiting for my OBGYN, and then I see this. Hello, Josh Gibbs. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what do you make what of this? That? that was an OBGYN? Yes. On this. <laughs> right, gotcha, yeah. Um, I, I don't don't know that, and that picture of me is is really a, a, a just I, I don't even think I, I had any sleep the night that picture was taken. Um, I, I, that, I mean, I, I, I have so many questions. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's a real commitment to I, put it on the ceiling, isn't it? I, it is, on the ceiling, truly. I don't know whether that's supposed to inspire or scare people um, going to the office, but... You know what it's meant I, to do. I, I've, there, have, there, ha there have been couples who have met at my concerts, like in a meet-and-greet or something, they'll say, hi, oh, we just met tonight or whatever, and then, like, two years later, they'll be like, this is Josh Jr., we had an amazing time at the show. Oh, and so wow. I've, I've helped make babies for people. <laughs> um... <laughs> And so, I don't know, maybe there's, there's just a conduit. Maybe that's just one stop on the way to, to uh, having a family. I, I don't know. It's but, absolutely um, yeah. incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Molly, I want to talk to you about this. Uh, this book, your memoir, is absolutely brilliant. It's Hello, Molly. It's a New York Times bestseller. Anyone who reads this book loves it, they love you, and I know you just did a book tour, yeah. and something happened while you were in the airport at a layover. What happened? Talk me through this. Yes, I had just, um, the book had just come out, and I had a layover at Chicago O'Hare Airport, and I really wanted to see it in the airport. It's mm. like the first time, so I went in the store, and I looked, and I saw my book, and, and then I went up, and I told the woman who worked behind the desk, Janet, I said, this is my book, I wrote it. She was like, well, you've got to autograph copies because you're here. So she got out a pen, and I said, okay. So I autographed copies, and she happened to have the signed by author stickers. And then um, somebody started filming me, and then all these travelers came in and were like, I want one, I want one. And um, she was really, like, pushing the books, and I thought, gosh, this woman who works at the airport store at Ch Chicago Airport, Airport should work for Harper Collins. She yeah. really knows how to push books. <laughs> and um, so it was like an impromptu signing. And I met all these moms and ladies, and I was like, here's a book. It's just at the airport. Oh, I love that. Well, yeah. what's her name? Janet. Oh, Janet. Bless you, Janet. Janet. We love you for that. Yeah. Reggie, do you have a question for our guest this evening? Uh, yes, I do. Oh, good. Where? OK, there. Uh, oh, yeah. Yes, <laughs> tonight's question. In space, there's, there's a lot of room to move. Do you think if you had really long spaghetti arms mm -hmm. that could stretch to the edge of infinity, uh, that you'd, you'd use them? Not well. <laughs> but ultimately, yes. Molly? Yes. Oh, oh this is for me, too. Mm. Oh, no. Um, could I use them? Absolutely, yes. Positivity is the way out. That's correct. It's absolutely correct. Yes. Please thank Molly 
Shannon, Josh Groban. We got music from Big Thief when we come back. Big Thief, the largest. Thief.